It's expensive. But if we collect here, it's healthy for children, for school, for lunch. They are taking to school. It's very nice. We are very happy to get... Let's get some more on this story by speaking to Aziha Nakuda. She's partnered with the NGO Love Our City Clean, and she's joining us now from Johannesburg. Aziza, uh, thank you very much for being with us here on the News Hour. Now, just take us through why uh, this project was launched. Um, so, this project was initially launched before lockdown actually happened, um, and luckily, it's because the project was launched before lockdown, there was. Um, a good like turnaround and everything for it and we were able to assist as many people as possible through this um through this project and just describe for us just how bad the sort of the waste management issue is in south africa right now um so we basically centered around lorenzville which is a underprivileged community in johannesburg and um, the waste uh, waste is a very, very big problem in South Africa, but doesn't get as much um, popularity or isn't focused on as much because of so many other problems within South Africa. So I think Locke has done such a good job on trying to assist the people and the environment at the same time. I mean, absolutely. It's, it's kind of fundamental, but I guess it does get overlooked because there are uh, perhaps more pressing issues. But I mean, waste is, is really important because of the, the health implications of not having effective waste management, of course. Yeah. No, definitely. In um, the Lorenzville and surrounding areas, it is absolutely appalling. And I think with this um, project, it's it's helped. It's You can actually see the difference and how it's helped the community. I mean, what are the ambitions for the project? Obviously, this is an NGO run. Are you going to think about getting more government assistance to try and make sure that this project can be expanded if it proves successful? Um, we are actually a non-profit company. We are hopefully um, trying to get as much uh, assistance as possible, um, if not from the government, from other sponsors. Um, but we're hoping that this initiative can ho hopefully um, expand to different areas, especially townships in and around South Africa. I mean, it's, it's slightly different, of course, but you will have been aware of the, of the project run by the Gates Foundation to provide toilets to places in rural India. This is, I guess, akin to that. Are you looking to partner with major um, philanth philanthropic organizations like that to try and assist in your work? No, definitely, definitely. I think we've, uh, we've partnered with the FNA Foundation, um, which is the first foundation that we've paired with, but um, we're hoping to, for other foundations to take a look into what we do and hopefully us as well in the future uh, and just finally then if you can just describe for us sort of how the the people that you're working with in the area specifically are having to deal with the pandemic at the moment i imagine that with lots of work um being uh, shut down there isn't much work for them to do i don't think the people are currently dealing at all at this point um but i think they're trying to do the best that they can in the circumstances that they're currently in and um i think with this this project, it's, it's been helping a lot, especially with food and toiletries and clothing. And I mean, well, yeah, food, toiletries and clothing. Yeah, it's a very important work. Okay, uh, Aziza Nakuda from Love Our City Clean in Johannesburg, thank you very much for your time.